the great strengths of the Chinese sports system is the intensity of its athletes. Hard work is just demanded and these athletes who are successful, um, there are legendary stories about what they're willing to endure to become the best. There's an expression in Chinese, to eat bitterness, and I think the Chinese athletes are willing to eat more bitterness than a lot of other athletes. The character of the athletes, in combination with the well-funded schools and the free coaching and the free uh, dormitories, and that whole system has been a major factor in the rise of China in sports. I started skating when I was six years old. When I was little, I skated only on outdoor rinks for two years. I had to wear a hat, gloves, heavy coat, and heavy snow pants. It was very, very cold. When I was young, I wasn't the best. There were a lot of very good athletes ahead of me. I was always thinking, when can I beat them? And I have always been working towards this goal. It's lunchtime at the Sports Academy in Harbin, China. Already this morning, these kids have skated and taken ballet class. They'll train most of the afternoon and skate again after dinner. They train until 9 o'clock each night. This is their schedule six days a week. The Sports Academy is their home. Their fellow skaters and coaches, their surrogate family. <laughs> When I was small, I used to miss my parents because I was only eight years old. But I wasn't competing, I was just training. Now I won't miss my parents because my coach is always with me. And I have a lot of friends. Inside these walls, the skaters grow up together. They form a bond rooted in a common objective, to succeed. Every skater is groomed to become a champion. They learn to be stoic, to endure, and they're taught the values of nationalism. As a team, they represent China, and to them, this is a great honor. They are there collectively to do the best that they can, not only for themselves, not only for their parents, but for the glory of China. If they do make mistakes, they feel very disappointed that they haven't done their best for the country, for their parents, for their coaches, for this Chinese sports program that has nurtured them since they were five and six years old. In Torino last month, Don Zhang suffered a terrible fall that could have ended her Olympic dream, but she was not ready to give up. Her life has been full of sacrifice, and she would not pass up this moment. At that point in time, both of us really didn't want to mess up this opportunity. It's very hard to get this chance. It's a once-in-a-lifetime experience. As we're training day after day, no matter what difficulties we meet, we have to overcome them. It was the Olympic Games. It's not an ordinary competition. We knew we had to continue. Every day, hundreds of athletes learn the skills necessary to become champions. These young faces represent a new era in China one of an emerging sports superpower. And it is these athletes who carry the weight of a nation, trying to reinvent itself as it prepares to host its first Olympic Games. They're gonna show the world through the showcase of the Olympic Games, their great success. They wanna show their society, they wanna show their, their history, they wanna show everything to the world, but they definitely wanna win the most medals and they would be very disappointed if they don't. And they're gonna be on center stage for the first time fighting 200 countries, and so it's very important to them. It's, uh, it transcends sporting events, political events. It will be the most uh, important event in the history of China. On that Olympic podium in Italy, the collective efforts of a country paid off. The success of China's athletes is providing a glimpse into the future of a country on the rise. But it was the individual triumph of one skater that embodied the spirit of her nation.